single day, 7.6 million lives are lost to cancer. These lives are lost after fighting an excruciatingly painful battle. But also, not only are 7.6 million lives lost every day, but 7.6 million families are left in unimaginable grief and sorrow. Well, I'm here today to tell you that these 7.6 million families that are saddened, well, they're also cheated ever since the first day they found out that their loved one was diagnosed with cancer. We've been looking for a cure to cancer for over a century now. And yet, despite all the technological advancements we've had over the past 50 years, we have the same three treatments we had 50 years ago, chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery. And if you think about it, two of these three treatments are actual carcinogens. So how do we treat a disease if it's something that causes that disease? So how chemotherapy and radiation work is they go to a certain part of the body that either has cancer or a potential for cancer and wipes out all the cancerous cells, but it also wipes out all of the beneficial cells, depriving the body of nutrients in that area, having drastic effects on the patient. However, what we've done with chemotherapy and radiation is we've eliminated the cancerous cells, but we haven't eliminated the root cause for the cancer. So after the year-long treatment plan with chemotherapy or radiation, and after a few years of recovery, the patient starts to see their cancer cells resurfacing again. And so now they're back in phase one with even more pain and even less hope. But we raise close to billions of dollars every year just for cancer research. And yet, we haven't found a cure to cancer? Well, we definitely have. In fact, Dr. Leonard Coldwell, a very well-known oncologist in Europe, says that he says that there are natural remedies to cancer that can be used to treat any cancer in just weeks. He believes every cancer can be cured in weeks. And so how is this possible? Well, what he was doing with his patients was he was administering natural vitamin C, and this supplied the body with a lot of uh, nutrients, and this drove out all the cancer cells eliminating tumor growth within just days in all of his patients. But we can't use these types of natural remedies here in the United States of America because there's a US regulation saying that chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery are the only three ways of treating cancer in, in the US. So an entire agency of pharmaceutical companies and doctors won't even tell you about these natural remedies, these ways of treating your cancer in just weeks. And so why do we have this regulation? Well, it's very simple. Chemotherapy and radiation make close to $50,000 a year on average per patient. And one in every three people in the US have cancer. So this is billions of dollars for the medical industry every year just from cancer. And so now, we, now the cost for finding a cure to cancer is more money-based than based on actually helping the 7.6 million lives that we lose every single day. See, coming out here and talking about the corruption that we see in the industry of trying to treat cancer was frightening. There's an entire agency of doctors and pharmaceutical companies that we trust who don't want such natural remedies that can treat cancer in weeks to come out. So, yet I'm here today talking to you guys about these natural remedies. Mahatma Gandhi said to be the change you wish to see in the world. And today, I think we can all be that change and we can all advocate for the natural remedies to cancer and help cure cancer for everyone. But in the audience, there are much more passions than my passion in curing cancer. We all have passions that are seeds to change. So I dare all of you guys to be the change you wish to see in the world. Thank you.